In my last video, I have built the entire arena from the latest Hunger Games movie and then made all the features like the cornucopia, the drones and even the rainbow of destruction functional using only command blocks in vanilla Minecraft. So the most logical thing to do next is to gather some of my friends and let them fight each other in the arena. Like any other good friend would do, right? Before we get to the main fight, let's meet our tributes. Our first tribute is Roman. Roman is a strategy based player that doesn't necessarily look for heavy fights, but he can think a few steps ahead. He often tries to find out if there is an out of the box solution to anything. Even though he isn't really aggressive, I'm sure he will do his best to win this event. The next tribute is Daida. Daida is the knight of this event. He knows his way around PvP and he won't be afraid to take a fight. His plan is to loot everything and eliminate all competition. If we were in the Hunger Games universe, he would definitely come from the career district. The third tribute is Domis. Domis is a balanced player who likes to choose both strategy and PvP. He is really patient and he also likes to think ahead. I'm sure he won't necessarily look for fights either, but if it comes to it, he will definitely do his best. As the horn made it sound, everyone rushed to the middle. To my surprise, after the tributes completely destroyed the cornucopia, they all separated and headed off to different directions. Daida's plan of looting quickly definitely worked out. He was the only person to get two weapons. He got both the stick and the rock. Roman, on the other hand, got the only spear placed near the cornucopia, so right away he was in an advantage. Domus also got his hands on a weapon. He managed to grab a rock from one of the barrels. After a chaos in the center of the map, Daida didn't hesitate and went looking all around the arena. Domis also didn't waste any time and started searching for a decent place to hide. Meanwhile, Roman managed to find a broken pillar leading to the upper floor of the arena, where the open went is located. He spotted it right away and decided to crawl into it and close himself up. At around the same time, Domis also spotted a nice hiding spot right by the entrance of the building. He proceeded to stay hidden behind the wall for the next few minutes. So from what I can see right now, I can tell that we have two players hiding and one running aimlessly around the building. I say we give them a little motivation for them to start fighting and not hiding. It was at that moment I decided to send some of the capital drones to our tributes. Once the drones arrived to the building, the chaos that broke out was visible at first sight. Everyone quickly ran out of their hiding spots and saw each other in the middle of the arena after quite a long time. After a while, the chaos went away, so I made all of the drones explode. Even after this drone attack, every tribute was still well alive. Roman headed straight to his closable vent, but this time, Daida followed him all the way. Roman was quick enough to close himself up, but he had no idea what's coming next. As Daida left the upper floor, our hider came out of his little hiding spot, and as a great head game maker, I decided to destroy the thing that helped Roman stay alive the most, just for entertainment. I removed the function to close the vent. As expected, Roman wasn't really happy about this change, but it finally gave him the motivation to look more around the arena. I then told Domis to nod his head if he wanted me to send the drones again, and I was really surprised to see that he agreed. He didn't know that at the time, but that was his biggest mistake yet. Because of the drones, he was forced to run out to the middle of the building, where Daida was already waiting for him. As Daida chased Domis around the edge of the arena, Domis was starting to lose hunger. But when it seemed like Domis will finally manage to escape Daida, Roman, angry that I cut off his hiding place, was just coming down to the main area. He saw Domis running around the edge, right under him. He was so close to him. Suddenly, there are only two tributes left. As Daida chased Roman to the center of the arena, when it looked like Daida is going to win, they heard something. That's right, the drone carrying the snakes was slowly approaching the building. And as any good friend would do, I lied to them and said that there is going to be loot dropped along with the snakes. The drone arrived, the glass barrel started to lower onto the cornucopia. The tributes waited as the snakes started to break the glass. The snakes immediately started chasing Roman. But Daida was just watching from the side, how Roman was running as fast as he could. At this moment, they both knew there was no loot coming. Daida started to follow Roman as he was getting more tired every second. The snakes bit him once, they bit him twice, and as it looks like it's all over for Roman, he turned around and used his spear one final time, eliminating Daida. 
but he was weak, he was too exhausted. After all, the snakes were here to eliminate every standing tribute. Not just one, all of them. Roman knew there is no getting out of this. But what do you think? Who did the best? Who should have won this event? Let me know in the comments, I will be glad to read all of them. If you want to know how everything works and how was this map built, just watch this video next. Until then, see you next time. Bye.